Okay, I'm Beck Lane. This is Studio 120, and behind me is a painting I talked about in the last video. Actually, I've talked about in a number of videos, and I'm really, really, really excited. I don't actually say this about my own paintings very often. Oh, these are so dirty. Um, and I slept on them, so they're all bent. Um, anyway, uh, I don't say this very often, but I am incredibly not just proud, but in love with this painting. I love my painting. I really, if you've watched any of these videos, you know I'm usually like, Ugh, bleh, or like, you know, how are we gonna fix this? But I am absolutely in love with this painting. And I learned so much in doing it. At one point last night, I swore it was done. I just swore and I started taking pictures of it. And that's one way I review the work, is I take pictures, put them online, and then once I can see them clearly, I, I can start to see the mistakes in them through the photographs, I have to go back and fix. So that's exactly what I did. I started reworking her, and for about three hours, it was just work in the face, and work in the face, and work in the face, and then working that into the arms, and then reworking some of the colors into the background. And I really got to the point where I was ready to throw brushes at her. I was so frustrated. But it's always at that point when I kind of want to punch a hole in the canvas and throw things that it just happens. The light bulb goes off and it happens. But I did take this back and forth between two painting spaces that I have, two stations, and kept moving it until I found it. And I am so, 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 so pleased. Um, I also remembered that I had the reference material on another iPad, so I was able to pull it up, lighten it, and see it a little bit clearer than I could see off the black and white um, Xerox print that I had. So this is, or photocopy print that I have. I'm just super, super pleased. I'm so pleased with the background, the, the lightness of it, um, just being able to add the textures and things. I'm so, so friggin' excited. And I put this up online. I made, I just kept looking at it through my computer and just about to hit post going back and fixing things. I finally put it online and we have gotten a really, really great response. And we have people reaching out asking about it. So um, I mean, we'll just see what happens, but we're getting an excellent response. So I'm gonna take more of the lessons learned here and apply it to another painting that I I cannot wait to show you because that one is now starting to click. And the terrific thing is I will take all the lessons I've learned, apply it to that painting, apply it to another painting, apply it to another painting, apply it to another painting. Because I have the two commissions that I just kept putting to the side. Look at how tilted my glasses are. Here, we'll do this. Okay. Um, what a mess. I sleep on these things all the time. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna keep taking these lessons and applying them in other places. So super duper happy. If you have any questions about the painting, please put them in the comment section below. You can also email me at becklane42, becklane42 at gmail.com with any questions. Uh, down below are links uh, to J. Louise at Blue Egg Gallery. Look, I'm tilting my head so these don't look so bad. J. Louise at Blue Egg Gallery or Andrew and Mark at Chase and Galleries here in Sarasota. If you have any questions about price, the size, which by the way, it is 40 inch by a total of 32 inches. These are two, two panels, 16 by 40 each, so total 32 by 40. Oh, I better put this away because it's gonna dry. The paint has to settle. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, you can contact the people listed down below. You can get, get to me through YouTube or my website or through the email that I gave you. Anyway, let's end this with a Max Minute. My, uh, Maxwell is my grandson, as we know. And let's just let him know. Oh, I've been trying to learn uh, um, a Shooting Star in sign language. I got this for Shooting Star. And I think, I, I don't know. If, if anybody knows Shooting Star, Please talk to me, because I want to learn shooting star and sign language for him. Um, anyway, let's let Maxwell know we're thinking of him. He does have his hearing, by the way, but he also speaks sign language because he's brilliant. Ready? Max, 
You are my sunshine, my big boy sunshine. You make us all proud every day. The way you draw, dear, the way you paint, dear. Um, I forgot what I was going to sing next, but he doesn't know the difference because he's two. I didn't exactly write that one out in my head. You know, let's try. Let's see if we can find something else. You are my sunshine, my lovely sunshine. I'm going to learn a shooting star one day. Then we can talk through some little sign language signals. I love you, Maxwell, every day. Mwah. Mwah. I'm proud of you, buddy, and I love you. All right, that's it. Ciao. Oh, please, if you like the video, if you like... Uh, uh, Studio 120, please like and subscribe. Also think about supporting Studio 120 through pa Patreon, uh, which provides monthly support, or purchasing prints of my work um, on mugs, tote bags, t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, prints on Tee Public. There's a myriad of ways. All the links are down below. All right. Ciao. Ready, Carrie? Here we go. Carrie, my friend in Australia, we're gonna meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow.